Part 3, Inspection of Results. After the curve fitting algorithm finishes calculating concentrations for your unknown samples, the results will be displayed in step three of the analysis software. Standard curves. On the right side of your screen, you will see the standard curve for your Legendplex assay. In the upper left corner of the graph, you will find two pull down tabs. The pull down tab on the right can be used to highlight the standard curve for a particular analyte. The selected curve will be highlighted in bolded dark green in the graph with the other curves being displayed in a lighter green. Should you wish to view just the selected curve, unselect the Show All Curves box. The pull-down tab on the left can be toggled to show where unknown samples fall onto the standard curves in the assay. The default setting is set to display all unknown samples. To view an individual sample instead, simply select it from the pull-down list. In the graph's header, you will see the name of the analyte. Below the name, you can also find the following information. The coefficients for all variables used in the five-parameter logistic curve fitting, the CV percent, and the R-squared value of the curve fitting. The theoretical upper and lower limits of quantification for the curve, which are listed in the range bracket. For the curve currently selected, these limits are also depicted visually by the black vertical lines in the graph. Results tab. Four results tabs are displayed on the left of the screen. These tabs are as follows. The concentration tab. This tab displays the calculated analyte concentrations for all unknown sample files. For user-defined replicates, the concentration is listed as the mean of all samples in that replicate. If an unknown sample falls outside of the bounds of the standard curve, then the calculated concentrations will be reported as inequalities i.e. less than the lower limit of quantification or greater than the upper limit of quantification. The Median CV tab. This tab displays the percent CV values between any FCS files defined as replicates. In general, values should be less than 30%. Variation between replicates higher than this is usually indicative of the need for troubleshooting. Common causes of variation are discussed in the troubleshooting section of any Legendplex assay manual. The Median tab. This tab displays the raw MFI values for each FCS file in the assay. The Count tab. This tab displays the number of events acquired for each bead ID in a given FCS file. The number of events should be roughly equal to 300 for all analytes if you properly followed the assay's protocol. Individual FCS files with discrepancies between analyte bead counts should be reviewed for gating accuracy. Note. FCS files identified as blanks will display in a red dashed line through their values on both median and count tabs. Reviewing and adjusting gates for individual FCS files. As you will recall, the Legendplex data analysis software simultaneously applied a global gating strategy to all FCS files in the gating window. In order to review and adjust the gates for individual FCS files, please do the following. Select either the Median or Count tab. Click on the small icon to the immediate left of the name of the first FCS file you wish to review. The file will now be highlighted blue. To add additional files, shift-click, sequential files, or control-click individual files to add them to your selection. Selected files will now be highlighted blue. Click on the Analysis tab at the top of the window. Locate and click the green gate triangle icon on the far right of the ribbon. This will reopen the gating window. Notice that this file list in the upper left now contains only the FCS files you just selected. Any gating changes made now will only be applied to the individual FCS files selected, as opposed to all files simultaneously like the previous gating step. Select the first file you wish to adjust by left clicking on the file's name from the list. Using the manual gating tools, adjust all necessary gates. Once any changes are made, the FCS files name will be changed from black to green text. This allows you to identify which files you have already regated. Repeat the above steps for all files on the list. Once you are finished, click the green OK button to close the gating window. The analysis software will now recalculate your results using the revised gating strategies. Note, 
Bead IDs and analyte names cannot be adjusted here. Should you wish to correct a mistake in one of these fields, please use the Analysis tab to return to Step 1 and click on the green gate icon at the bottom of the screen. This will reopen the original gating window where changes can be made. After you have made the necessary corrections, click OK to close the gating window. Click the Run button in the bottom right corner to return to the Results section. Flagging files from Analysis. If necessary, the Legendplex data analysis software allows you to flag data points from the analysis. You may exclude the data from just a single target all the way up to an entire FCS file from analysis. To utilize this function, navigate to either the Median or Count tab. Highlight the data points you wish to exclude from analysis by doing the following. To exclude the data from a single analyte in a particular FCS file, click the appropriate well. Control left click additional wells you wish to exclude. Entire FCS files can be highlighted by clicking the small icon to the left of the file name. Once you have identified all the data points you wish to exclude, click the Analysis tab at the top of the window. Click on the blue Flag icon from the list. This will add a green dotted line through all selected data wells. Return to the Analysis tab and click on the green Run icon. The software will now recalculate your results, excluding the flagged wells from analysis. To clear flagged data, repeat the process using the Unflag icon instead. Remember to click the Run icon once you are finished. All flag data points can be cleared simultaneously by clicking the Clean All Flags icon and then clicking the Run icon. Heat Map and Clustering Analysis The Legendplex data analysis software can perform heat map and clustering analysis on data selected from either the Concentration or Median tab. To perform this type of analysis, use the following steps. Using the Concentration or Median tab, Highlight the FCS files you wish to analyze. Next, click the View tab at the top of the window. Click the clustering icon on the ribbon that is now visible. This will open a new tab on the right side of your screen. Toggle between the heat map or clustering view by selecting either format at the top of the tab. The settings for these analyses can be adjusted by opening the clustering options icon. Right click on either map and then select Save As to save a copy of the image. Several graphic file types are available to choose from, all of which can be found on the File Type pull-down menu. Edit Standard Curve icon. The Edit Standard Curve icon that was previously used to adjust the top standard concentration can also be found in the Analysis tab, should any other adjustments be necessary. Returning to previous steps. If you wish to return to a previous section of the software, Click on the Analysis tab, and then click on the desired step. Due to the modular nature of the software, if you return to a previous analysis step, all data flags will be removed, and top standard concentrations reset to default. Remember to re-enter these values if required.